Okay, so this question um, it's mentioned a counter in the bag. It's given us um, some information, 12 are red, 5 are green, the rest are white. Counter is chosen at random, we'll get the probability. So we see that keyword probability, and quite often probabilities are nice written as fractions. Uh, they can be decimals or percentages, um, but when you've got questions involving this kind of scenario, then it's easier to put down the fraction. Um, so we've got the total number of outcomes, uh, so the total possible outcomes on the bottom. Well, they told us there was 25 counters. So that's why we've got 25 there. Um, and it wants the probability that there's white. So we can see there was 12 red, 5 green, and the rest were white. So we have to do 25, take away the 12, take away the 5, and that tells us there were 8 white counters. So that's why the 8 goes on top. So the answer here then, 8 25ths. So there's a probability of 8 25ths. So if we do it 25 times, we'd expect to choose 8 whites. That's what the probability is suggesting. OK, so when we go to the next question then, it talks about um, 110 students. Uh, each student needs a bottle of water and they're sold in packs of six. The question says how many packs are needed. Um, so really they're saying um, 110 share by six. Um, so multiplication method, um, lots of different ways of doing this. You could keep adding six until you get to 110, or you could do uh, the long uh, division or short division method uh, shown here. Um, so how many sixes uh, go into the one there? Um, zero. So we carry that one over to the next digit. So we're now saying how many sixes go into 11? Well, there's one six, so we'll come out of 11, and if we do 11 take away six, we end up with five. So we push the five over. How many sixes go into 50? Um, so we go through our six times table. Eight sixes are 48. So eight sixes are 48, and we have a remainder of two. So it says how many of these packs are needed? Well, we need 19 packs because 18 wouldn't be enough, because there'll still be two students who don't have any. Um, so we need 19 packs to make sure. We have 110 bottles. OK, so that's um, one of the ways of doing that kind of question. Um, as I say, you can build it up. So you can use a build up method. So you could say, well, 10 packs would be 60, 5 packs would be 30, so so far 90, 3 packs would be 18, so so far we'd have 108, so we have 10 packs, 5 packs and 3 packs. Um, again, that would then show us that we need another pack, because we haven't quite got enough. So there are lots of ways of trying to do this kind of question, um, but learn your uh, short division, long division method like this, because it can be uh, more efficient and quicker uh, once we realise that so all we're doing is carrying over the remainders into the next digit uh, so that we can then make a calculation to do.